it, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis, I know that you're going through also a, a huge cost-cutting program. Like, what's the most difficult decision on how you resize and cut costs? So costs is an area that we will continue to have a laser focus. We had our results yeah. last week, yeah. so we already saw our cost income ratio actually fall by 10% um, over the full year 2022. Yeah. But we do have to really maintain a laser focus on costs, particularly with regard to the broader inflationary environment. So we're looking to keep our non-interest expenses flat yeah. to 22, whilst at the same time looking to strategically adjust headcount. So we did see a tactical headcount reduction in some of our business in Q4 of last year uh, but more broadly we think we're actually very well positioned for the cycle at this stage for 23. What does it mean for hiring? Are there, are there places actually where you could hire and also pay people maybe a little bit more? Of course and we always look to remain competitive and there will be areas that we're looking to grow our businesses um, so we will always continue to monitor those products particularly where there are adjacencies to our existing businesses where we can also see increased customer demand. Uh, you know, we've had a number of conversations over the years about, you know, what, what uh, the clearinghouses look like or the closeness between the UK and the EU post-Brexit. What's mm. it looking like now? I think we're in very much a steady state at this point. Uh, yes, in 2025, there is there is steps to sort of move yeah. more clearing activity into the EU. But I think at this stage, I think we're very well positioned and, and all our planning is now done. So we're very much in a business as usual state.